Here's a question on quadratic inequalities. Uh, we need to find the value of x that satisfies both inequalities or the range of values of x. Let's, let's start with the first inequality. Uh, I'm going to write this as 2x all squared take 5 squared. The reason I'm writing like that is because I can use the difference of two squares to write it as 2x plus 5 multiplied by 2x take 5. I have a video on the difference of two squares if you want to understand uh, that in more detail. Uh, so then what we want to do is to find the critical values. Okay, so we can find the critical values by letting this equal zero. So we say 2x plus 5 multiplied by 2x take 5 equals zero. So to understand what's going on here, just draw a, a small diagram. All you need is a straight line and this is a positive quadratic because the coefficient of x squared is positive. So it's going to look like this, facing that way. This is the x-axis. Uh, so the critical values are where the quadratic cuts the x-axis. And to find those, we find the roots. So we have here 2x plus 5 equals 0, or 2x take 5 equals 0. That gives us x equal to negative 5 on 2, or x equals plus uh, x equals uh, positive 5 on 2. So this is where the, the quadratic cuts the x-axis. And what this inequality is saying is, where is this quadratic below the x-axis? Where is it less than 0? Uh, and that's in this section here. Okay, so we have a range of values for x for this first inequality of x greater than negative 5 on 2 and less than 5 on 2. Okay, but we have another one, so let's go ahead and solve that as well. Uh, and I'm going to, well, first I'm going to rearrange it. So I'll write the x squared term first. And then I'm going to divide by negative 1, just to make it easier for myself. You don't have to do it this way, uh, but I just find it uh, easier. So. If I divide by negative 1, this becomes positive 3x squared plus 5x, take 12, and we need to flip the inequality, so it's less than 0 now. I have a video on why we do this as well, if you want to check that out, if you want to understand why that's the case. So now, can we factorize this quadratic? Well, we have 3x and x, they're the only, 1 and 3, the only factors of 3. And factors of 12 are 4 and 3, and if we multiply 3 by 3, that's 9, and we subtract 4, that will give us the 5x there. So we can factorize, and now, so this is less than 0, so now we want to find the critical values. Critical values, uh, this is where we have 3x take 4 equal to 0, or x plus 3 equal to 0. Again, draw your diagram. So just a straight line. And uh, here I'm looking at a positive quadratic, this one. Uh, because I've rearranged it in this way, this is the one I'm solving. Uh, but if you, if you didn't do this step, then you would be doing a negative quadratic. Okay, so it's a positive in my case. And we're looking for those critical values. That's where x is equal to 4 on 3, or x is equal to negative 3. So the negative 3 would be there, and 4 on 3 there. So we have a range of values for x here underneath the x-axis, where it's less than 0, uh, between negative 3 and 4 on 3. OK. So now we have solved each individually, we need to look at the values of x that satisfy both at the same time. Uh, so uh, values of x, of x that satisfy, satisfy both inequalities. Let's have a look. So this negative 3 is less than negative 5 on 2, that's negative 2 and a half. So this negative 3 would not satisfy this first inequality. And we can test that, right? Plug in negative 3 here, what would we get? 
we would get 9 times 4, which is 36. Take 25, which is greater than 0. So we can see that wouldn't work. So our minimum value uh, is negative 5 and 2. That would satisfy this inequality and this one. Okay, so our minimum is negative 5 and 2. What's our maximum? Our maximum, well, 5 and 2 is greater than 4 and 3. That's 1 and a third. This is 2 and a half. So 2 and a half would not satisfy this inequality. And we could test just with 2. So 2 is still greater than 4 and 3. So plug 2 in here. Um, that would be 12, take 10, uh, take uh, 4, so 12. So here we can see that would not be greater than 0. So uh, that's just to show you kind of what the process, the, the thought process we're using here. So the maximum that satisfies both is 4 and 3. All right. Uh, and that's your answer. That's your final answer. So x greater than negative 5 and 2 or and less than 4 and 3. Again, if you want more problems on quadratic inequalities to really understand this topic, check out my video. Uh, I go through lots more examples. I uh, hope you found that video helpful. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.